Hey, this is James again with Penner Trailer Sales. And today I want to talk a little bit about four wheel drive and differential locks on a tractor. So today I'm sitting here on a Coyote tractor that's equipped with both four wheel drive and differential locks. Coyote actually only makes four wheel drive tractors. They don't have any two wheel drive models available. Uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit about four wheel drive and differential locks, what to think about when using them, how to use them and so on. A two wheel drive tractor uh, is fairly easily recognizable. Uh, the front tires are just basically an idler wheel. Uh, they're not gonna have a traction tire or a traction tread equipped on them. And naturally the rear two tires are the only ones that are gonna have power to them. That also means that when you apply the brakes, the rear two wheels are the only braking wheels. So a little drawback there for a two wheel drive tractor is if you're using a loader that lifts weight off of the rear wheels, which then reduces your traction and your braking ability. And then of course, if you have muddy conditions or soft conditions, uh, you just get better traction with a four wheel drive model. So when four wheel drive is engaged, there's a direct mechanical connection between the front axle and the rear axle, a direct mechanical geared connection. Uh, all four wheels have power when driving. Now, if you do lose, lose traction and spin, you will only see one tire spin because the way differentials lock and not to get into the science of a differential, but as long as both wheels are turning, they have traction, it's putting power to both. But when traction is lost, then all the power just goes to one tire. Um, higher horsepower tractors will have limited slip differentials, but lower subcompact tractors are open differential. Therefore, they're usually equipped with a differential lock. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Now, when you engage four wheel drive on a tractor, because there's a direct mechanical connection, you wanna be careful when turning on a hard surface because it'll generate quite a bit of strain on the uh, drivetrain. And that's because when you're driving in the circle, the, outs, the front axle is driving on a larger radius than the rear axle. And there's no differential to make up that between the front and the rear axle. So when you're in loose conditions, uh, muddy conditions, basically a little bit of tire spin will accommodate for that different uh, travel distance that the front axle and the rear axle have. Uh, but on a hard surface, either you'll feel it wanting to kind of bind or uh, a tire will kind of hop or what have you. And it, it puts a lot of strain on, on the drivetrain. So you want to avoid using four wheel drive on a hard surface or in firm conditions. Also, if you're on turf, it'll tear up your grass a bit. You can actually shift into four wheel drive and out of four wheel drive in motion. So while you're driving, on this tractor, it's down behind my left foot. I can reach down and I can engage it in four wheel drive or disengage it, provided that I'm not lost traction and I'm spinning a tire. If I'm spinning a tire, then the gears, one gear spinning faster, the gears to the rear axle are spinning faster than the gears on the front axle and they'll not mesh well and you can damage your gearing. But if both, track, both uh, axles, all four wheels are spinning at the same rate of speed, why you can just slide those gears together and engage the four-wheel drive and vice versa. If you have had the four-wheel drive engaged and have driven and turned on a tight surface or are, oh, I'm sorry, on a hard surface or are turning on a hard surface, it might, because of that strain I was talking about earlier, it might be quite difficult to disengage it from four-wheel drive because there's all that pressure on the gears. So simply turning the opposite direction or driving straight in line forward and backwards a bit will release that tension and you'll be able to disengage the four wheel drive then. And one more thing with four wheel drive I'll mention, it's very beneficial when using with a loader because again, when you're digging and carrying weight on the front end, the traction is much uh, reduced on the back because your, your weight is reduced a lot on the back. So the front axle then is able to aid with traction, but also braking. When you apply the brakes, if it's in four wheel drive, all four wheels will be braking. You'll be able to stop much faster. Um, Another thing to note on, a, on models that have an electronic four wheel drive, just pressing the brake pedal, it'll automatically engage four wheel drive so that you have full braking. But on a manual four wheel drive, you don't have that benefit unless you've manually engaged a four wheel drive. Now differential lock, what is a differential lock? Well, I mentioned earlier the difference between an open differential and a limited slip differential. Open differential basically will allow, if traction is lost, one tire will just spin freely. A differential lock is a mechanical lock, and on this tractor, it's located behind my right foot here that I can press down. And when I press that down, it locks both tires together so that it's a solid axle. 
and that means with it when it's a solid axle if you were to turn one tire is going to brake traction and spin because there's no differential speed no no differential between the two it's a solid axle so that helps uh, the reason that's there is in case in times when you've lost traction you need some extra traction you can manually just engage that and hold it in it will only stay engaged as long as your foot is on that pedal uh, because that's not something you want to leave engaged for the long term because it again that puts a lot of uh, strain on the axles and on the axle and on the gearing so it's something to use when you're in a mud hole whatever in a moment when you need some extra traction engage that differential lock and both tires on the rear axle will spin it only affects the rear axle um, and again that is also another feature that you don't want to engage if you're spinning the tire both tires either need to be spinning at the both at the same speed or stopped to engage the differential lock if you're spinning and lost traction you don't want to engage that because you can damage your transmission doing so and when you're out of the situation that calls for the added traction just take your foot off the pedal and the differential lock will automatically release so i hope that's been helpful uh, some things to consider when using your four-wheel drive times to use it times not what not to do to hurt it as well as your differential lock if you have any questions please feel free to give us a call here at penner trailer sales 931-361-1122